Mm, gotta get my energy for today. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Nathan, it's Drill Masters. I'm super excited today. Why? Because we got a new Roblox. Yes. No, it's not Fast Five Max. No, it's not the Roblox S6. Yes, we got something very, very new. What is it? Well, it's the Roblox T7. Yes, I think companies for 2020 are going with the new route. They're calling the new well, Vacuums T Series. Yes. Kind of like the D-Bot. They call it the new Osmo 960, 950, whatever you call it, the new T8. And guess what? Lenovo is doing the same thing. They call the new Lenovo Pro, the T1. Yes, craziness. It's a smartphone, and thanks, David, for letting me know about this new uh, vacuum. Okay, so basically, he's like, hey, you know about the new T7? I'm like, no. Uh, basically, we've been hearing about this new model. It had like a new design, has a three button layout, also had kind of like a new kind of grill looking front fascia. Some of the rumors was it had a side camera that could recognize objects. Unfortunately, that's not the case for the T7, but there's a couple new design changes. So that's why I call it the S5 Max upgrade. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. So Gearbest actually did a review. They actually got their hands on their review unit about a month ago. And here's what they said about the new T7. Well, the T7, kind of like the S5 Max, has electronically controlled water tank. But instead of being a little bit smaller, around I believe 280 milliliters, the new one is 297 milliliters. So it's the largest of any of the Roblox series. That's great, it can cover up to 250 square meters of area. So that's really nice about the mopping feature. So what's great about the T7, it has that signature LiDAR sensor. I believe it does have the pressure sensor. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that for the S5 Max, the new revamped design, which basically any production model after a certain month actually incorporated a new pressure sensor, which was found on the Roblox S6. So that's great that all the Roblox models are including that pressure sensor. So if it hits low hanging furniture, it can detect that. Next thing is the T7 has that new signature design. So let's go ahead and uh, just scroll down the article here. Did a review on the new T7. Uh, basically, it's very similar to the Roblox series, like the S6, the S5 Max, in terms of navigation. So like the new Roblox series, like the S5 Max, the S6, and S4, it has the new upgraded materials. So the upgraded side brush is made out of silicone instead of bristles, which is found on the S5. Also has that 250% more offensive bristle design on the extractor bar. So keep in mind that all these robot vacuums, including the S5, have interchangeable materials. So if you got the S5, you can always upgrade the extractor bar and side brush to fit your S5. So as I scroll down to the website, it looks like it does the same cleaning pattern, that back and forth cleaning pattern. Works well around furniture, has that low profile, around less than 3 inches in height. So all the Roblox vacuums do support the Mi Home app, also they support the Roblox app. So one thing to know is on the Roblox app, I have heard that some people say that they're missing some of the features, like being able to edit the map, uh, name the map. So I just stuck with the Mi Home app and it's been working very well. Okay, so according to Gearbest, the water tank is 297 milliliters, so that's the largest between all these little uh, vacuum models. So it looks like it's pretty easy to remove the water tank. I could just do that on camera for you guys, just a little kind of slot right there. Squeeze it and pull out, very easy. There's the water tank. I found it very easy to remove, and also you have the ability to add the moppy attachment below. Gearbest did a couple of navigation tests. So if you look at this map here, it's like if the room is kind of long ways, it will actually follow that path of the room. And if it's like short or in a different direction, it actually follows that path as well. So that's the advanced path planning, which basically reduces the amount of times the robot has to turn. So that's something that's found on the S6. The S5 Max, also on the S4. So on the T7, it looks like it's very similar to the S5 Max, where you can adjust the power levels and also the water levels within each of the areas of your floor plan. So that's great. It's just very similar. It's just a brown box with some uh, writing on it. I do like the minimalistic design, but I'm also a fan of colorful boxes, which was found on like the Shark IQ. I think you notice the T7 does have the upgraded charging base, which means it allows you to wrap the cable around, which was found on the S6. But one thing I did find is the S5 has the cheaper kind of like plastic, uh, what do you call that, uh, 
water system has this dedicated spot button, also has the pause resume button, which acts as a power button, and lastly you got that home button. So I like the design of the T7, which gives you all three buttons. You can also do the spot clean button on the Roblox S5 Max. So how to enable that is just hold down the home button for three seconds, and it goes into spot clean mode. Okay, let's keep uh, scrolling down here. So it looks like the front and rear designs are slightly changed, but the actual inside of the robot is very similar, has the same dustbin design. You also have the same Wi-Fi indicator and the little reset button. So on the T7, the specs are very similar. One thing to note is these guys run at 2,000 pascals, whereas on the T7, it runs at 2,500 pascals. That's probably one of the highest numbers of any we are back in today, and it provides up to 25% better cleaning performance according to Gearbest. Okay, so here's what sets the T7 apart from the other models, is it has the new 4.0 map management system. What this allows you to do is save up to 4 floor plans, whereas these guys had 2 plus the most current map. Now, 4 floor plans is great, and also Roblox improved the way you select floor plans. No longer do you have to physically go into the app and select the correct floor plan. The Roblox or the robot can do that automatically. So all you have to do is, let's say you have a floor plan down in the basement below. All you do is just take the robot, bring it down in the basement, and the robot will scan the room and automatically update its map. That's awesome. Um, no other robot back can currently can do that. And a lot of users experience problems with their map getting corrupted because they forget to put it on the same floor plan or the same map. So there's a lot of great models coming out for 2020, including the Roblox series. Also, Dbot came out with a new model called a T8. So I'm excited to try that out on my channel. I will be getting that within a week or so. It's called the Nova T1 Pro, so it has a self-emptying face with LiDAR. Also, I like is coming out with new models, which they claim to have 3,000 pascals of suction. And there's some new robot factories coming from Trifold called the Max and Lucy. So definitely stay tuned for all these new who are vacuums heading my way. So have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.